I have a lot of information about this, but what I will say is that our financial sector needs to be more proactive now. It seems sometimes it is to help businesses, and as they make profits, they also make profits. If they are not more proactive, if they do not go to um, some of these deprived areas, we export, um, we export shitty pepper. The business of money is a business of risk. So I'm not sure if that addresses your question, but until we do that, it will take a long time. We would always be catching up with innovations, and that does not come on good. There was also a question of, um, if I think if the microphone could be given back to the person who asked the 75% um, question on crude oil. Yeah. What was your question exactly? You wanted further clarity on Oh, okay. So in when we started and the okay, the observatory for economic complexity is a data visualization. It's a data visualization platform. They help you to be able to interact with the huge trade data very well. So that's the source. I think when we started exporting oil in 2011, for the first three years, exports to China, in terms, when it comes to crude oil, were not that high. It started with about 30%, it went up to 54, and then it came down again. But for the past three years, it's been hovering around 70, 80%. Thank you very much. Now, on the issue of the RTI, what are in the advanced countries where available to buy other products? What about it? So, I think a, a serious look at our national policy, the policy itself, the strategies. Could anyone also shed some light on? Essence of research is not what you found out, but then the issues that pay for further investigation. That is the approach that I'm going to They highlighted some issues, but then incidental things which must be investigated to ensure we achieve. Governments should take seriously of the broadcast and not just the separate policies. So you want to so information, RTI. I personally do not think the RTI has something to do with um, why we are not disseminating properly information on funding sources for SMEs and investors to be able to have access to. Because one, you set up these funding sources because you want people to come and you want to help them. And you want to choose from the most efficient of them. Which means that the more people come in, the more you are able to get more options and you're going to give to the most efficient. So I think it has something to do with proper coordination among the various institutions so that they can put their efforts together and find very easy ways of getting the information out there. Of course, the RTI is very important, especially for us in the research field. If you need information, sometimes it can be a challenge. So it's something that they really need to consider. Um, there was a question on gold. Gold is not represented here because we export, most of our exports in gold goes to Switzerland. I think Switzerland, as, in, as of 2016, we exported the total export components of gold, of goods to Switzerland, or gold comp um, had about 80% of it. And we considered free trade agreements. We do not have that kind of agreement with Switzerland. That's why it's not represented here. Also, there was a question on Imani policy. Uh, what kind of policies has Imani brought about? Our work is to educate the public and to advocate for certain policies. So we, what we've done now is to do get, gather some information, share it with key um, stakeholders, and also get their opinion. So as we've shared this information, I'm sure other people will also take it on and do further research. And we, based on the comments that we've received here, will do further research to bring more clarity onto the matter. There was also a question on um, the fact that Cote d'Ivoire and Ghana, in terms of trade volumes, we've actually been next to next. Um, I don't think so, especially when we look at the partnerships that we considered here. If we could go back to the slides. The Ghana-EU merchandise trade flow. 
Okay, present it to mm -hmm. our go to Switzerland. And we are going to sustain data from our class media. Whereas Cote d'Ivoire imported a total value of goods worth 9.4 billion US dollars, they exported, I mean, the export value was about 12 billion. In the same period, Ghana uh, exported 10.5 billion worth of goods and imported 11 billion worth of goods. So I, I understand we need to disaggregate the data, but in some other, uh, there are instances where clearly we are using the values, we still do not compare. I, I don't, I'm not quarreling with you. <laughs> <laughs> the person is telling you that your farms or the farms of China. What we are trying to do these days is to encourage some of these reality-based solutions if you like to the challenges that we have. And so as I said, this is um, one of many conversations we are going to have. I'm sure next month we'll do one as well. Probably related to something entirely different. Uh, procurement issues, issues around in public investments in our, uh, our governance systems. And indeed, I'm sure getting to December as well, we'll have a conversation about some of the projects that we've been